the modern world depends increasingly on rapid access to enormous amounts of compute and storage. So uh, I really do see uh, the cloud as a true enabler of the idea of information as a utility. Let's assume that you are one of these visual effects studios like Powerhouse, and you had to develop all of your own hardware on premises. It's going to become outdated over time. If multiple organizations like Powerhouse and others can actually share access to the same central computing power, then we can continue to maintain it and update it. You see organizations like Powerhouse reporting that there really is close to zero latency in being able to manipulate these files. That was hard to achieve in an on-premises infrastructure. Media and entertainment that's got such high demands for rapid turnaround of very large files. If it's banking and healthcare, or if it's something like sports, where literally zero latency is absolutely crucial to performance, all of those industries have got different demands. But the great benefit is that if you respond in one industry, then it can be distributed very easily to other industries. A fascinating story is NBC Universal, and we've been working with them for years, but specifically around Peacock, the launch of their new streaming service. It went from inception to full delivery in 15 months. That is uh, an unprecedented uh, speed to develop effectively a new channel, and it was really enabled from beginning to end by the cloud. Organizations like NBC Universal have got these deep back catalogs and archives. And the cloud means that they can be stored efficiently and cheaply. So therefore, you can also commercialize this long and illustrious history that organizations like NBC Universal have. If you hadn't had the cloud, it's not a question of whether this would have happened more quickly or not. It's a question of whether it would have happened at all. If you want to approach a new market or a new segment, then the power that you've got with the cloud to begin to investigate that, to experiment with it at much lower cost than you previously could, really does unlock those next, those next frontiers for what a business wants to do. We're all going to get used to the idea that being creative, being productive, being innovative is going to happen anywhere, anytime. I think geography has always been the enemy of talent. The point being is that if you really had to restrict your talent pool to particular locations, you're unlikely, just by the sheer law of large numbers, to find the right people, the best people. Digital transformation is a journey. Uh, you don't complete your digital transformation. You're constantly undergoing it and looking for the next frontier. So we see these relationships between AWS and our customers as a true partnership over time. We're going to be able to deliver very powerful tools and very powerful collaboration services to people who can therefore work wherever they need to work or wherever they want to work and balance their work life, their personal life, their family life, and overall be more productive uh, and also be happier in their work.